Hey guys, I'm just interrupting the video here um, because I wanted to do a few shout outs. Um, I was just going to shout out to Kenzie. Thank you so much for watching every single one of my videos and commenting. It means a so much to me. It, it just means a lot. Um, and also I wanted to shout out to all of my journal fam out there. Um, thanks for the name, Kenzie, as well. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys give me. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoy these next few videos. Um, if you have any ideas for videos, please leave them in the comments below so that I can, um, give you what you want. So, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Hey guys, it's Steph, and I'm back with, um, more of the journal collection video. This is part two. Um, I'm sorry if I'm cut off a little bit and I, um, you know, I have it on like a tripod kind of thing. Of course, it's makeshift. But here we go. As you can see, this is like just an overview back in here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the, oh, composition notebooks. Oh, which are here. This is all of the composition notebooks I have. Um, I hope you guys can see okay. Um, but most of them have never been used. But some of them I have started on doing one thing or another in. Um, but here we go. So this one here is, um, I started it a little bit here. This was supposed to be um, like a challenge journal. And I ended up doing like one page in it. This one here actually was a journal of mine for a while. Um, I just started writing in it just basic shit about my day and stuff like that. I got these as a pack of three from a yard sale for like a dollar and they're actually moleskin. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then this one I decorated for me and Eric. Um, and it's supposed to be about our love story. I'm going to write in it our entire story from start to finish. I hope this is good enough lighting. I know it's probably terrible. Um, but this one here uh, was supposed to be my rock your handwriting challenge. Um, I started doing it as you can see. I started doing it. I made it about 15 days and then um, for whatever reason I just quit. I will probably keep this for my rock your handwriting challenges. I just need to get back into them. Next up there is this journal here. Um, yeah, this journal here. I actually got it as a pack of three and I gave one of them away to a friend of mine. Um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with it because I don't like how the lines are in it. They're like very large lines but there's that one hopefully there's enough light guys um next up is this one says anything is possible which you can't see give me one moment i'll be right back i'm gonna get some more light hey guys i'm back as you can see i got a little bit more lighting um it's actually really dark outside right now it's like 10 16 so bear with me okay so we left off on everything is possible um it's this one here i've actually never written in it it's just one of those ones that i thought i might use someday um so i bought it um but yeah so that's that one this one here um i started using as like a business notebook um i actually stopped using it though um i only have about four pages done in it i started with like a list of my clients um, photo shoots I had coming up, things like that, and then I just kind of like quit using it. Next up, this one is my journal, my health journal, or my weight loss journal, whatever you want to say. Um, I have gotten about, let's see, oops, let's see how far I've gotten about this far in it, um, and there's about this much left in it, but I decorated myself apparently. Um, but yeah, so that's my health or weight loss journal, whatever you want to call it. Sorry, the lighting's terrible. Next up, um, it's just another really pretty composition notebook I found. I thought it was just really beautiful, and I really needed it, um, so I got it. This one here was actually my Payless notebook. Um, what I did with this notebook is I did scheduling, um, I did notes on how to find people um, like how to hire people, um, questions to ask people, things like that, because I was working on being a manager, um, before I 
quit because things started getting really shitty. Um, this is my notes from the meetings and things like that. Um, and, you know, schedules. Like, this was, this was one of our last schedules I made, being the manager, things like that. So, this journal here was just kind of like a management journal when I was the manager up there for a little while or the fill-in manager, whatever they wanted to call me. But that's what this one is. This one here is the Notebook of Random Kindness, um, or Random Kindness, yeah. This was my Random Acts of Kindness book. What I did was every time I did something nice for someone, I wrote in here, um, and I kept that for, it looks like, it looks like maybe about half a year. I got about this much full, um, with this much left, um, and then I just quit writing in it. I don't know why. I mean, I didn't stop doing nice things for people. I just stopped writing in it. Um, then this one here was for my photography class. It, um, I just thought it was pretty, and so I did it to take my photography notes, um, things like that, like my photography terms, and this was my, excuse me, this was my schedule when I was in school. Um, that's what this notebook was for. This one here looks like it was going to be a list journal. Um, I decided to make it a list journal, and then I did like three lists in it and quit. As you guys can see, I don't really keep up on things. I really should probably get more into doing things like this. This one here is another just blank notebook that I just thought was super pretty and I just had to have it. I love these kind of composition notebooks though because they're like really flimsy and I can like take them anywhere with me and I don't have to worry about it messing up my pages. And last but certainly not least, it is this one here. It's just a pink camo one. I got it um, because I love pink camo and I just never even wrote in it. There's absolutely nothing in it. I also really liked the fact that the pages are not white. They're like an off-white color, which I love having notebooks that have that kind of off-white color uh, to the pages. Alright, so up next we're going to do all of the bound or the spiral bound notebooks oh oh god as you can see <laughs> there's a lot of them um okay so let's start out with this one here let me put these here so that i have my hands um but this one here i bought because i got really into adult coloring for a while there um, and it has like note pages and then every once in a while there is something you can color at the bottom or like this one here or it's like an entire page of coloring so that's why I got this notebook never used it next um, this is my current journal that I'm actually working in right now um, this is a bando journal um, so I started it January 1st and I started writing in it um, and this was when um, when Simba passed away I have some of his fur that I taped in here um, that I just found laying around and I kept it until about looks like May 30th and then I quit writing in it um, which I really need to get back into it but this is my current journal um it's just a spiral bound notebook i decided to try something new i wrote the year on it um i really need to start writing in it and get this filled up by the end of the year um because i want to move on to another notebook these journals here i actually had made for myself from practical paper co which you can find my link down in the description for 15 percent off um my nickname is moosey so i had her make me a moose notebook these are the medium notebooks. Then this one here is my bullet journal, which I actually don't do much in, but I do keep a little bit of it because I keep a Digi Buljo um, on my iPad Pro. And then this is just a notebook all about poetry. I have about half of it full already, but these three, um, you can get something similar by going to the link in my bio. This one here, I actually bought for a dollar at a flea market um i just really thought that it was cute um i don't know if i'll ever write in it or not because it's like not really like something you would want to write in but it's really cute because if you look at a whole spread 
one page is pink and one page is yellow um, but as you can see it has this border around it and you can't really like write much on it but um, I may use it just to fill it up because my I, with my handwriting this will be filled up in a couple months um, next up these are my two most current uh, purchases um, because it's back to school and us journalers absolutely love back to school because you get to go and see all of the wonderful notebooks and if you go there now you can get in on it before all the kids do but I got this beautiful notebook it is so beautiful it's hologram or however you want to say it um, and it has all of my favorite colors in it except for pink I don't really like pink and the pages are just like awesome they're perforated and everything the inside cover looks like this oh looks like this and it's just it's just awesome and I thought it was super pretty and I just had to have it and then this is my next current purchase this is a beautiful owl notebook which I absolutely love owl and Mary Beth is probably one of my favorite journal um, people like artists to buy from a lot of my little composition notebooks you saw are by her um, but this look how beautiful this is I absolutely love this this I might write in um, I actually might make this like my nature journal um, because it has an owl in the front of it but we'll see next up is this journal here it's just gold and silver or gold glittery um, I've never written in it but I mean who could pass this up for like a dollar at Walmart Next up, this one here, let me see if I wrote in it. I did write in it, but for some reason I ripped pages out of it. Um, but this one here is Gold Hearts in like an ombre pink. Again, it is Mary Beth brand. I buy a lot of her stuff from Walmart. It's definitely a great brand. Um, but I, it looks like I wrote about 10 or 15 pages into it and then ripped them out. I don't remember what I did with them. So let's just move on. This here started being my nature journal but I hate these notebooks this is a basic um, just one subject a notebook a wide rule that you can get for 25 cents at Walmart I absolutely hate buying these um, but I did for whatever reason and I started doing things in nature and everything is already dead and apparently I did not know how to tape back then um, but this one actually turned out pretty good the leaf stayed the color it was and didn't turn completely brown so that's pretty cool but as you can see, this was a pink flower. I should probably throw this one away. Because you can see, like, mold growing. Yeah, you should probably throw this one away. But um, this is just one of those really crappy notebooks. We all have a few of those. This one here I recently just made for myself. I bought a white five-star notebook. Um, and then I put a bunch of pictures from travel magazines um, on it. And then I started writing in it about all, I want to eventually visit all 50 states. So I wrote a 50 states list and then I started writing. I, each page is dedicated to a trip that I've done, um, but I have not actually written much in all of it or put any pictures, which I really think I need to get on that. So there's that. And then on the front look here, I like the five star notebooks because they come with a pocket in the front. So I'm going to put all of my travel brochures and maps and things that I got while I was on vacation in here last or not last but <laughs> next is my cleaning and organizing notebook this one here is again just a basic um you know one subject college ruled notebook uh what i do is i write in all of my diy cleaners that i get from clean my space and just different cleaning tips that i have found um that work for me and fly lady tips and things like that just anything that pertains to keeping house and being organized and efficient this notebook here looks like, once again, never wrote in, um, but I got it just because it was pink and it's like a five star notebook. Um, and I really like the paper in this, so maybe one of these days I'll start writing in it. Next up is this notebook here. This one here I actually started as a bullet journal, as you can see. Um, let me show you the front cover. It's this one here. Um, I started it as a bullet journal, as you can see the index and then my year at a glance and my calendar things like that um but then i actually bought like see i even did like my 
um, TV show tracker, things like that. But then I actually bought a bullet journal, so I quit using it. And I may not ever put anything in it unless I just use it as like a, um, kind of like a catch-all journal or something like that. The next notebook is this one here. Um, this is actually my dream journal, um, hence it because it has a unicorn on it. Um, I've only recorded about um, this many dreams, not very many at all, because a lot of my dreams are very, very in-depth. Um, I dream very vividly, and it's really hard to capture all of that in on paper, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> this one here is actually my cookbook. Um, I bought it to just write down all of my recipes. I'm about halfway through it. Um, and I'm going to keep it until it's completely full and then just keep it for like my kids and things like that. Next, this is Introduction to Theater and Drama Arts. This was when I was in school. It's just notes and things about my class. Next up is this notebook here. Never actually written in it, but I bought it because it's like a basic, um, it's just a basic notebook but it's got a design on the front of it and I thought it was really pretty um, because I really like green that's the only reason I bought it next up this is actually um, my pen pal journal um, what I do is I keep some of my pen pal letters in the front cover here and then I practice writing names and things in it and I write all of my notes in it and then I rip them out um, and I keep notes about my pen pals in it, like addresses and things like that. So that's my pen pal journal. As well as this one here was my first pen pal journal. Um, as you can see, there is actually a lot more in it. Um, and I'm not going to show you, but like I have my stickers. Let me just show you the stickers. The stickers here, just that I use more than anything, but I'm not going to show you any information in it. But it's just notes that I wrote about my pen pals and things like that. Um, so that's that. Alright, so, and then this is the last of the Spiral Bound, this journal here. I actually got it from Kroger for like $6. Um, it has different pages in it, and I got it because my friend Jill had it, and we were supposed to, like, use it at the same time, and then we decided for some reason, um, you know, just not to be friends. So, I've never written in it because it reminds me of her, and I miss her a lot, so I just, I'm not going to write in it right now. All right, next up is all of the bound journals. So, here we go. Let's start with the biggest ones and work our way down. All right, so I have this journal here, which is bound. Um, I paid, actually, uh, quite a bit for it. It was, like, $8. Um, I started using it. I wrote about 15 or 20 pages into it and then quit um, because it was too hard for me to carry. This might be something I keep beside my bed um, to kind of catch um, just pretty much anything in. But there's that one. And then this one here, um, I think I started writing in. Actually, no. Um, I only bought this because it has the dates at the top of the notebook. Whoops. At the top of the notebook, it has the dates, um, and you can circle the date in it. And it's super cute. Um, it's just this, this mint green with uh, gold stripes. And it's um, 200 pages. You can't really find journals like that much. Um, oh no, they're dropping everywhere. Sorry, guys. Um, then this one here, um, I think, let me see. Uh, yes, I actually started writing in this one. Um, I think I only got <sighs> about 20 pages into it because all I did was wrote, um, it was a Nano, or Nanjo Rimo. Um, challenge that I did back in 2015 um, I only did about 20 days of it and quit so that's what this journal is for and I've not written in it since next up is this journal here um, I just bought it because it has a weird texture and I've never seen a journal like it before it's hardcover as well um, and I really like how the pages are um, you know like put together and lined um, but I've just never used it because I just have so many, you know, just so many. Next up, uh, we're, we'll go with the ones that are puffy, I like to call it, puffy journals. Um, I got this one at A. Seymour for like, um, 
I don't know, like, a, like $4, I think, and I just have some pictures of me and Eric in it, um, a picture of my hair when I got it cut, um, but this is the one that I started posting all of my pictures in, as you can see, and this is the one that I told you guys that I just don't like, and I don't want to write in, um, so I just stopped writing in it, um, no reason, I just really just didn't like to write in it. Then this one here, um, I paid about $7 for at Walmart. It has a magnetic clasp to it, um, and it's just like my other journals that I did, um, that I filled. Um, I just have never really gotten into writing in it, and it's like this really pretty, like, teal color. This one here is another journal that I got as well because my friend Jill had it, and, um, I wrote in it for a little while, poems, and... I put some things in it about my pen pals that my pen pal sent me, things like that. And then after we stopped being friends, I just stopped writing in it because it just felt not the same um, because we were keeping it together as friends and then she just like, we stopped being friends. So it just didn't feel the same to write in it. Um, I know that sounds really stupid, but that is why I quit writing in this one. All right, so next up, we're down to the last few. Oh my goodness. Yep, down to the last few. Alright, so this one here is just a little notebook that I got from a friend of mine that I use to take notes in at work. I keep it in my purse and just keep notes in it. This journal here I bought a long time ago at TJ Maxx for $6.99. Um, it has a beautiful pages in it and I just don't want to write in it, um, as you can see. It's just one of those ones that you have to keep on your shelf because it's gorgeous, but you just really don't want to write in it. Maybe one day I will, but I don't think so. This one here is my Michael Jackson journal. Um, these are the ones that they let out after he passed away, um, and I keep this as like a music journal, songs that make me happy. Um, I put a little biography about him in the front cover because it is all about him. It's a journal about him um, and about music, so that's what I did for that one. This one here is another one I bought for like $3 at um, Big Lots. Um, and again, I s started using this one as a bullet journal um, a while ago. And then I just quit um, like using it. And I probably won't continue writing in it. Um, but I might. You never know. I might get in the mood to write in it. This one here I got at Walmart. It's a really super pretty. Um, and the pages are like this olive green color if you, you guys can't really see it But it's like an olive green color. Um, it's really nice and it, it has a place for you to put the date I may use this journal and I may just keep it because it's so pretty This one here is a love journal that my friend Amanda made me um, I started writing in it a little bit, but not very much um, But I really loved that she did this for us um, and for some, you know, we got in a little bit of a fight, I think. I'm not really sure what happened, but she's no longer talking to me or on my Facebook. So, Amanda, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry whatever happened, but I still have your journal and I still write in it. Um, and I miss talking to you, so definitely hit me back up. This one here, I think I wrote in like one time. Nope, never wrote in it, but it's, um, this one here. It's really pretty. Um, it's got these like gold or silver pages um, But the pages are like um, I don't like the way that the lines are spread apart I know that sounds dumb, but any journaler might understand that there's just a way that the lines that have to be for you to love it Next up is just this little journal here that I got from my friend I think I got it from Amanda again, and I used about 15 20 pages in it just for notes and I haven't used it since Next up is this one here. You can buy these for like like $3, I think, at Walmart. They're just really awesomely made. They're hardcover. They're easy to carry, and they have a strap on them. I just haven't used this one yet. I also have a black one that's just like it, but my strap actually broke on it because I was carrying it, using it kind of like a smashbook, um, and it broke. So I haven't used this one in a while. Next up is this one here. I think I started writing in it just a little bit. I started it on August 25th, 2017. Um, I just like decorated it and I did a couple entries and then I just quit. 
Um, last but not least, I have this little um, um, handbook, I think is what it's called, from my friend Sarah. Um, I actually used this very little um, in class for little doodling and things um, about myself. This was my first page. Um, I just put my name and things that I'm good at or things that I love. Um, and that's what I decided to kind of use it as. I decided to try to use it as like a handwriting or scripting notebook. So that's what I'm using it for, Sarah, if you're wondering. Um, so guys, that's it. 22 minutes part two. This is crazy. But that is all of my journals. I hope you guys enjoy this very long overdue video. Um, next, or the video next video I should say is going to be um, organizing all of them on my bookshelf so hope you guys watch that hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys in my next video bye